Hey, what's going on guys? Come again here. In this video, we're going to add up to four buttons to our GUI to be able to actually start a new game, force engine to make a move, take move back if we blunder some queen, and flip the board eventually. So uh, let's start by uh, starting the uh, our HTTP server by typing python3 app.py. So now it should be available at the local host port number 5000 so make sure it still plays chess okay perfect and now down below here i would like to add a few buttons so um, uh, here i specify the game controls and we'll start with the div class equals to row and a max order to to centralize it uh, just like uh, the chessboard is centralized and also I want to add this fixed width as far as our chessboard has a fixed width and here uh, I want to create the div with the class equals to BDN group to group several buttons into one single line and here the button, buttons themselves so button I'm sorry button class uh, BDN, BDN, outline, secondary, so just like this style, nothing much, and button here, so this would be the new game, and now we want to add some buttons for actually make move, uh, take back and flip board this is it so let's have a look what result we obtain okay just perfect so here are our up to four buttons which is just perfect so now we need to uh, assign some identifiers to this uh, to to this uh, buttons in order to be able to uh, uh, hook them from the javascript so this one would be the new game, and this one would be uh, make move, and this one would be take back, and this one would be respectively flip board. Quite pretty simple. Okay, so now let's go to the very beginning of our script and here we want to handle a uh, new game button so we can simply use the jQuery to pick up the new game uh, so this uh, hash symbol means we're referencing the JavaScript object uh, JavaScript DOM element by ID and this is the ID itself so we want on click event and the callback function to fire would be like uh, this uh, so we want to reset board state so in order to do this we need to say game dot reset so according to the documentation of chess.js like here and also uh, set initial board position in in the chessboard widget itself so position dot board and i want to set the start position like this so this should now be working let's have a look so starting a new game so trying to play some moves okay just try to blunder a piece and then new game hold on a sec i'm sorry guys something position is not defined hold on a sec this is interesting so maybe just a bad oh it's uh sorry position board I'm sorry guys board position what have i done board position sorry for this board like that like that okay let's start again so 
just playing, 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 and the new game, and okay, and we're playing from the very beginning again. Perfect. So now new game works. So the idea behind make me we're not doing anything to our backhand. We just uh, we just reset in our game state. So the FEN that would be sent next to our engine would be the third position. I'm not really uh, that sure about uh, whether the UCI new game is sent implicitly to the chess engine when this happens or not. I still need to uh, dig the Python chess documentation, but at very least we can say that it actually kind of works. So uh, let's consider this as the bare minimum uh, proof of concept of uh, how this might go. Okay, and now this, the next thing to consider, make move, should be uh, actually forcing the computer to make a move. So it should do uh, absolutely the same that we're doing on our undrop event. So let's go to our undrop event. Mm, I'm just wondering where is this? So here, here it is basically. So probably I can just... Uh, grab this away and just simply say make computer computer move and just call the make move function like this and let's also add uh, our make move function so make move make computer move and function make move it's not gonna be taking any arguments uh let me just set up the appropriate indentation here okay and this should be it well let's check uh whether this still works or not okay and now it should be literally enough uh uh to just to call this make move when uh we are handling the make move button click so handle uh, make move uh, make move button uh, click let's make it like this click button click so now we're we're picking up we're picking up the make move object on uh, on click event and the callback function to fire uh, well, probably uh, make computer move well I didn't yet test this to be honest but in theory this should be working so let's have a look so make move make move okay just perfect so we're literally forcing a chess engine to play versus uh itself here we're just making moves like this okay just perfect so now let's uh, actually uh, handle this take back function so here in uh in our chess js library we have this uh, undo method so take the last half move the last play literally uh, and well let's actually try to handle that as well didn't yet try that so I'm really tempted to know what's gonna happen so handle take back uh, take back button click so uh, take back on click and fire the callback function and here so take move back if I didn't understand everything correctly from the docu documentation it should be th something like game dot undo and uh, I guess that so we did update the status uh, here on make move right and we did update the board position so I think we should do this here as well okay this should be working I hope 
save so well let's actually see if this is working or not so let's make a new game so we're making moves and then just take back take back uh yeah it actually takes uh by one but well it's not really that bad slightly a bit uh so we take back we need to take back twice actually uh well possible solution might be to just undo this twice maybe the most weird thing you've ever seen <laughs> but why not just I'm just wondering so oh I need to update this stuff so let's say take back and yeah some weird disaster is gonna happen right so it has stopped oh I just didn't click it what happened so here here let's say take back okay okay take back doesn't take back anymore make move okay take back make move let's say i blundered blunder the queen take back don't blunder the queen okay so this seems to be working okay and the very last thing for this video at least uh chessboard js i'm just wondering how to flip the board uh, I've seen that in the documentation. So configuration, orientation, this one. So I think, yeah, board orientation. Uh, uh, yeah, probably I need to create a switch there. So let's let's actually try to implement that as well. So here I want to handle um, flipboard button click so jQuery and pick up flipboard uh, dot on click and the callback function why well, well, the, the reason why I'm saying callback function every time that's because this stuff is done asynchronously believe it or not okay so here uh, well, let's first let's actually try to well flip board. Mm. Let's try to say board dot orientation is equal to black. So this should uh, tur uh, this should flip the board once, and sorry guys, and that's it. Okay, didn't did I misspell something? uh orientation uh yeah by the way i need to add a little space uh down below the buttons before i forgot that so game stats no, not here, here, uh, margin bottom two, save. Okay, now this is a bit better. So I'm still wondering, so why this is not working? What am I doing wrong? If I can reference board position, okay, why can't I reference this board orientation? uh flipboard maybe maybe the selector is wrong so flipboard let's search for this flipboard copy these no it seems to be just fine okay so let's see if we actually enter this function or not so flipping board okay okay so we're entering this but for some reason oh we probably need to I'm just wondering does update status work here uh, no it's not about that 
So, okay, guys, let's actually search the documentation. Well, it. Uh, well, this is a little bit strange. So maybe I just can. Hold on a sec. I'm not sure how exactly this is done. So let me try to print the board object. Maybe we'll see something interesting there in uh, in that uh, orientation black. Well, this was probably what we've just set. This is a bit strange. Hold on, let me just turn this off. Okay. Is this the same orientation? Hmm. Okay, guys, just hold on a sec. I need to uh, figure this out for a while. Hold on a sec, guys. I've just noticed this flip method. So maybe just uh, maybe this just works without this. What am I trying to do here? Maybe it's just much easier. Maybe that was uh, that was just about the initial orientation of the chessboard. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, this is so good. So simple. So no need to rein, 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 uh, reinvent the, the wheel. <laughs> reinvent the wheel. Yeah, I did pronounce this. Okay, so now we are flipping the board. Flipping the board. And uh, let's say uh, I'm just flipping the board and ask him to make a move. And now we're able to play with the black pieces. Okay. No, this is so cool. This is really cool. So, yeah. Well, let's go for a hack attack here. Okay, and you're doomed here. You're doomed. I will finally checkmate this guy. Yes. Okay, can I? Oh my god, I gotta check. Oh, he gives a queen. Yeah, I just checkmate you. Okay, the very first win by Code Monkey King versus his own engine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, if it was calculated a little bit deeper, he would definitely see these tactics. But I just wanted to crush it. Okay, so this is it, guys. Uh, by the way, yeah, we can still take the move backs. And I think, yeah, we can just be making these moves along the way. And again, if we're taking the moves back, you see like PGN is getting updated as well. Oh my god, what a nice libraries here we have. This is so, so cool. Okay. Okay, guys, so I think this is it for this uh, video in particular. Uh, I believe we need to add a couple of more uh, uh, inf info here, like uh, printing the score uh, of a current position. And maybe, uh, maybe the best move and i don't know maybe the principal variation as well. well probably down below the board here this would be just the proper place for for doing this uh, so i will try to play around with that a little bit and then get back to you with a new tutorial so i hope you learned something inter interesting out of this one see you next time and take care